Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Emily, the home bookkeeper, and on this channel, I help business owners and fellow freelance bookkeepers navigate the ever-changing QuickBooks Online, while also sharing insightful videos on all things business ownership and finance. Okay, let's say hypothetically that you are a construction foreman or a job supervisor, maybe a retail shop manager or your business or a client's business is a partnership where each of the owners have their own card through a company credit account. Maybe there is an expense credit account that has multiple cards issued under the same credit profile. Oh, how I miss the days of company expense accounts. <sighs> I digress. In today's video, I am going to show you step-by-step -step how to enter these accounts into the chart of accounts correctly so you can reconcile against the statement at the end of every month. As always, this is a sample company provided by QuickBooks for educational purposes only. This is currently the business owner view of QuickBooks Online for business owners. If you are a fellow home bookkeeper, please feel free to check out my QuickBooks Online tutorials for bookkeepers playlist, available now on my channel for a better view of what QuickBooks Online will look like for you. To get started, head over to the chart of accounts found under the bookkeeping tab on the left-hand side toolbar. Once inside the chart of accounts, click the green new button to create a new account. What you want to do here is create a type of umbrella credit card account. This account will not be connected to the bank feed. Its only purpose is to link the authorized user cards together. By the end of this video, you will know what I mean. For the account type, select credit cards and select credit card as the detail type also. Name the account something relative to the credit card. Maybe the card issuer or the style of card and the last four digits of the account number. See my example here. Just make sure to make it something that you can easily identify. And when you're finished, click the green save button. Now let's go ahead and create the user card accounts. This will be slightly different than before. However, the same as before, let's start by clicking the green new button. Choose credit card for the account and detail type and go ahead and name your user card after the authorized user or maybe the credit card type and the last four digits of the credit card number. Whatever is the most identifiable for you since you are the one that will be needing to track the transaction data. Here is where things get different than before. Now click the sub account and select the umbrella account that you just created. This will make the new credit card accounts you are creating now a sub account of the one that you created before. When finished, click save. Now go ahead and repeat this step for each additional authorized card until you have entered all of the cards connected to that one credit card account. Now, when you're ready to reconcile this account at the end of the month, go to the reconcile screen under the bookkeeping tab and select the umbrella account. This will list all of the transactions for each user card, just as it should appear on your credit card statement, depending on how your institution reports their statements. I hope this video was helpful. For more business resources, my online self-paced home bookkeeper masterclass, business supplies, gadgets, must-haves, and more, make sure to check out adjconsultinggroup.com backslash resources, linked in the description box below. And of course, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those bell notifications so you'll never miss an upload. If you have any video or tutorial requests, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And for even more behind the scenes content of life as a home bookkeeper, feel free to follow me on Instagram at Emma Dawn and connect with me on LinkedIn. And if you need more assistance, personal financial coaching or bookkeeping and payroll management, feel free to email or visit edjconsultinggroup.com. My firm is fully inclusive and ready to help you along wherever you may be in your entrepreneurship or personal wealth building journey.